Hey guys, Jordan here from Fantastic Micros and where to find them. Today we're going to be looking at butterfly wings. Now this is a project that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've been trying to find some butterfly wings that were really, really cool. And I found this website that orders that you can order them just uh, as like a collection like this. Um, they also sell a bunch of different varieties or you can buy like the individual species. Uh, but for this one, I thought it'd be really cool to look at a bunch of different ones. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I wanted to start off with some housefly wings. This was a prepared slide from Amscope. Uh, they do a pretty good job with prepared slides. So this is just a regular housefly wing under the microscope. This is about 40 times magnification. And I'll zoom in in just a second. Uh, this is also under dark field. Um, it's really cool when you look at it. Uh, when I zoom in here, it kind of looks a little bit hairy. And this is kind of the main difference between housefly and other fly wings and butterfly wings. Butterfly wings are covered in scales and the scales are a lot prettier, in my opinion at least, than these hairy wings. Next we're going to look at another slide. Oh, sorry, this is just my hairy legs. Nah, I'm just kidding. I wanted to freak out some people that were watching. Um, nope, this is indeed just another wing of a fly, but this is on bright field, so you can kind of see a little bit different uh, texture uh, with the light. Now I had this other slide from Amscope as well and this is an entire house fly. I tried to zoom in as much as I could with the phone and you can see some pretty good detail uh, if you zoom in right enough. Um, and then I also just sat it down right next to this wing for comparison. So again here it is. Uh, yeah I never really thought that flies were as hairy as they were. Uh, but here it is, they've got lots and lots of hairs, and uh, yeah, I'll just kind of let you guys take a look at this for another couple seconds here. Alright, this has been some pretty good footage of the housefly wing, but let's go ahead and take a look at some butterfly wings. So, we've got this nice green one here. This is about 40 times magnification, and we're going to zoom up a little bit. This is about 100 times. It's really cool to see how they're all kind of folded into each other. Uh, my wife said they look kind of like curlers. Uh, now this one is a blue morpho butterfly. Uh, it's really, really popular, uh, but also kind of expensive if you want to buy the whole thing all intact. Uh, here's kind of like a size comparison. And then here's kind of what it looks like right under the microscope. It's pretty big. Now, I also wanted to do another fun thing with some lighting, so you'll see I'm kind of moving my wife's phone back and forth with her camera light. Uh, not too professional, but it still gets the job done, so check this out. So here are the wings under the microscope, and I'm going to be adjusting the light by just kind of moving the phone around a lot. And I'm also going to be adjusting the focus as well. So uh, pretty much for the rest of this video, that's just going to be it, me adjusting the focus and light of these different butterfly wings. And with that said, there's pretty much nothing else to say, so I'll just let you guys enjoy this for a little bit. So this next one I'm showing you here isn't actually a butterfly wing, this is a moth wing. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking, most moths are kind of brown or white or black, but uh, moth wings can actually be just as pretty as butterfly wings. Uh, they are in the same family. Uh, so, and you can kind of see here a couple of the scales had fallen off. These things were super delicate to handle. But uh, yeah, let's take a look under the microscope. Again, I'll just kind of turn off the mic here and let you enjoy it.
All right, so that'll pretty much do it for this episode. If anybody wants, I can do probably another two or three of these. I have enough butterfly wings to do it. Just let me know in the comments below if you do want to see more, and I'd be happy to make some. Anyway, have a good one. See you all next time.